Okay, so in the previous video we got down to sidebar, but there is also divider, which will put a divider in, which will divide the pages. The blog, which will allow you to put in an image for the blog, and then the text underneath, and allow you to set that up in rows of however many you want. And then the shop, which will add a shopping cart to your page. So let's go ahead and get started first with the slider, since usually the slider will be at the top of your page. And then we will, we will see these options, arrows, show arrows, or you can hide arrows. Controls, show slide controls, hide slide controls. Uh, automatic animation, disabled, enabled. And then the automatic animation speed, uh, this is in milliseconds, so every 1,000 equals one second. Uh, you also have parallax effect, use and don't use. I don't use this because if images aren't all the exact same size, then it downsizes them, then re-upsizes them, so it makes it look kind of bad. Uh, then you have the admin label slider. Um, because this is just the slider, we're going to leave that slider because this is not where the actual images are and that title is not going to show up on the slider like in Joomla or other CMSs. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and go to add new slide. Here is the heading. The heading is where we will type in our titles. Uh, the button text, that button that pops up, we're going to be able to put whatever text we want in there so it could be read more call now whatever goes with your text or with your slide and then here's the button URL I don't have any pages set up to show you guys for that yet but here's where you would put the URL to lead to the page where you want them to go to and then the background image the background image is that wood type image that you saw in the background uh, the great thing about this is you can use a different background image for each. I like to use the same background for each and then just change the front images. Because with this, you're actually using two different images or an image of video and text that all slide in separately. So I am going to go ahead and choose a background image. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose this one because this is literally just going to be the background. And then we're going to go ahead and choose the slide image. If you've already chosen a background image, background color won't matter because this would just change the background color. Uh, so then we're going to choose a slider image. So we will go ahead and choose this one. And then we're going to go ahead and add in the, well, actually, here's the slide image uh, vertical. You can have it centered or you can have it at the bottom. Then here is the slide video. You can put a YouTube video URL into this one because it will be a small video that comes into the side. And then the alt text for the image, the text color, the background videos. You can do a video slider, but if you do a video slider, they have to be in MP4 format or WebM and they have to be files uploaded to the actual website. It can't be websites or videos pulled in from YouTube for your slider. The slider has to be actual videos that can repeat that are on the website. And then the background video width, background video height would be for if you're using one of these sections. And this you can actually make larger than the slider. You can make this take up the whole top section the slider will be automatically set when you decide to put it as full width for the top. Another quick thing to note here before the time runs out is text color. You can change the color to black or white using this. 